speaking of speeches, um, I had occasion, well, a lot of people had occasion recently to compare uh, Mitt yeah, Romney's so speech. I. I don't know if you saw me on television. Actually, I did not. I was interviewed by four networks on that. Well, uh, talk about that for a moment. What well, number one, uh, a, uh, first of all, in the interviews, I said I disagree with Mitt Romney on all kinds of things, but I would not like to see him opposed for president because of his religion. Mm -hmm. I just think, having gone through that once, that that uh, is un-American, and uh, when the issues are as big as they are, that's an irrelevant reason, just as Obama's race is an irrelevant reason, mm -hmm. and Hillary's gender is an irrelevant reason. But, I said, uh, and having this, I said, I sat and listened to the speech in the CNN studios, and I said, uh, it's totally different. Uh, Kennedy, in speaking to the Houston ministers, number one, was speaking to quite a hostile audience. Uh -huh. Oh boy, do I remember sitting there and looking at that audience, glaring at him. And then he filled open to questions afterwards. And, most of the questions right. were hostile or, at best, uh, skeptical. Oh, uh, Romney packed the hall with supporters of his own yeah. and did not take uh, questions afterwards. So the, the setting was very different. More importantly, Kennedy made clear in that speech, partly because he had to, he felt as a Catholic, that he strongly supported the, uh, using the word he used, the absolute separation church and state. Mm -hmm. Romney was not saying that at all. He was appealing to the religious right, and the evangelicals in the party that he hoped to attract. So it was quite clear that he wanted religion to play a major part in public policy making. Kennedy did not want that at all. And not only his speech, but his presidency demonstrated that uh, that was his conviction. Uh, people want to know what I think of Jesus Christ. Here's what I think of Jesus Christ. The very next paragraph, he says, um, and, and no Christ. candidate should have to explain any of the tenets of his religion. Yeah. And, <laughs> and he started out saying, this, as Kennedy did, he may have uh, borrowed. Yeah, he seemed line. to borrow the structure of, yeah, of the yeah, beginning of his correct. speech. And he said, uh, you know, what my, what my religious beliefs are just my business. And then he tells us all, the world, right. uh, yeah. what he thinks of Jesus Christ. I also thought there was a... Uh, yeah, there's not... All the time I knew him, I never heard Kennedy say anything like, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and mm -hmm. so on and so on. Never. It wasn't anybody's business. <laughs> Sorry? It wasn't anybody's business. Exactly. Okay. Um, I, I was struck by uh, a tone, a, a difference of tone between the two speeches. Um, because I went back and, and watched the video of Kennedy's, and uh, Kennedy basically had a, an attitude of, I can't believe that I'm having to address this. I'm going to address it right now, and I'm never going to address it, address it again, and here's why. Whereas with Romney, it was pleading, please like me. You know, please, please like me. Don't don't dislike me because of my religion. Uh, you, you have a very nice religion, too. You know, it was just... <laughs> I don't know. That's it was really, like that's, uh, really, that's, that's really good. One was sort of a man among men, and the other one was like talking to children or something. I, I it was it was very different in tone.